Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Terra. I hope everyone is well. Oh, alright, so it's time to throw down some more cards for somebody. I wonder who's next. Scout Honor. I have not looked at this deck. This little deck here. I don't know who's next. I haven't touched it. I just touch one card at a time and lo Sagittarius. All right. Let's throw them down for Sagittarius. This reading will be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do. The message given to the cards. If you choose to do it at all, it's your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it does not resonate, that's okay too. Check your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that might resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. It might even play out from the perspective of the Cross Watcher. And our dear friends, the Cross Watchers, are always welcome here at the Fire Sign Tarot table. Thanks so much for coming by. If I forget to say it at the end of the video, without further ado, Sagittarius, we're throwing them down for you. Why are you here? Seven of Swords. Ah! Truth's about to come out about something. <sighs> well, I guess there's a time for everything, isn't there? Maybe it's about a certain situation, something you did, something the person you're dealing with did. I don't know. I wasn't there. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Eight of Wands. You're not feeling like they're being very communicative right now. Nope. Maybe things aren't moving forward at a pace that you like. All right. What do you think of them? Wheel of Fortune. I like this card. A lot of meanings behind this card. The tens of the cards of endings and beginnings. This just happens to be number ten. The Wheel of Fortune can also indicate a karmic connection. We all know what a karmic connection is. Not something, not necessarily one that's meant to stay. Sometimes they come in to teach you a valuable life lesson and they leave when they're done. It is what it is, right? It is what it is. It's my Virgo moon and my Virgo rising talking, by the way. Sagittarius is just my sun sign, so... We'll throw some clarity on that in a second. What do you want from the person you're dealing with? Lovers. You want them to feel the connection as strongly as you do. You want the connection. Hmm. How do they feel about you? The emperor. Hmm. They feel like you're large and in charge and got your crap together. Nice. They can also think that you may be a little bit bossy and overbearing, but you know, it is what it is. It's the energy off the card. What do they think of you? Queen of Cups. They might think that you're a little emotionally closed off. Perhaps. Perhaps. Okay. What do they want from you? Seven of Wands reversed. Definitely gonna have to throw some clarity on that one. Seven of Wands can indicate crazy and out of control energy. It can also speak of how you deal with your inner demons. Okay. All right. What's the obstacle here? Eight of Swords in the reverse. Perhaps there's not a whole lot of thought being put into this at all. In the upright, you're just all wrapped up in it. In the reverse, not so much. What can be done? Knight of Wands. 
Hmm. I'm feeling the just let it ride and enjoy the moment kind of thing. All right, well, hold on. Hold on, we're going to throw some clarity down. Oh, Saggies, my Saggies, what have you gotten yourselves into now? Hmm. I should be asking myself that question. Why do you shuffle and cut if you're just going to let them fly where they fly and land where they land? Because that's how I roll. That's why. Okay. Why is the Eight of Wands reversed here? Five of Cups. Hmm. One more. The moon reversed. Okay. How you feel about the person you're dealing with? They're not so communicative. Maybe things aren't moving at the pace you want them to. Possibly this might be making you a little bummed out. This moon in the reverse, possibly. Things can be illuminated. Reasons why. Kind of goes along with the Seven of Swords in the reverse. Secrets coming out. How people truly feel and what people truly think. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? I don't know. Five of Swords in the reverse. Four of Pentacles, Eight of Cups reversed. Huh. What you think of them? endings, beginnings, but perhaps you think maybe there's pieces that were left behind. They still may be in the process of letting some things go. Why is the Eight of Cups reversed here? I hate it when I got a clarifier, clarifier. Karma reversed. Mm. Possibly they changed their mind about a situation and there's a return in their midst, maybe? I don't know. Or maybe that's what you're afraid or paranoid of. Maybe you're asking yourself if that's why they haven't been so communicative. Well, why is the lovers here? Oh, five of wands reversed flies right out. Four of cups. Avoiding conflict. Maybe you want to put an end to conflict. You want them to see the cup that you're trying to hand them, possibly. You want the connection to be mutually felt. World in the reverse. 
You don't want it to come to an end, that's for sure. If this is someone that you're in the midst of a disconnect with, you want you want to reconnect. You don't want it to be over. All right. Why is the emperor here? Wheel of Fortune reversed. You're large and in charge. You get your crap together. You get a solid footing. One more. Three of Cups. Ooh. They like you. They want to unite with you. They very least see the value in a friendship. One more. Too many. Try that again. Oh, too many. Try that again. Shadow side. Vassal some, some sugar and spice and lots of things nice. Like, almost to the point of being toxic and obsessive. Okay, why is the Wheel of Fortune reversed over here? Three of Swords, Page of Cups. It goes along with the emotional closing off. They may be catching a vibe, catching a vibe that you're almost afraid to let something end, to let something new begin, because you're still dealing with a state of heartbreak, and you're not quite ready to let that cup go yet. It's like an independent streak. Maybe they're the one still going through a heartache and they're not quite ready to let the cup go yet. I don't know. Take it out of it resonates. Why is the Queen of Cups reversed here? Too many. The Hermit. You're emotionally closed off. They possibly see you as an extremely spiritual person. You often allow yourself to be led and guided. Five of Pentacles. Possibly they see you as a little bit cold and a little bit icy, emotionally closed off. Not Possibly not ready to let them in yet. Ten of Wands, they could possibly see you as extremely burdened. Heavy heart, something you got to get off your chest, maybe. Kind of goes along with secrets getting ready to come out, possibly. And it's not even necessarily secrets, it could just be things left unsaid. Why is the Seven of Wands reversed here for what they want from you? The Sun card comes out nice. They want the connection. They want you to make the sun shine in their world. Too many. Whoa, okay, too many. Too many. Try that one again. The cards are just so darn happy and excited. They just want to talk. Hi, Seven of Cups. They may still want to keep their options open for a while. One more on this Seven of Wands. King of Pentacles reversed. Why the King of Pentacles reversed? Queen of Pentacles reversed injustice. Okay. 
That's interesting. You make the sunshine in their world, but they want to keep their options open for a while. They may be a little bit skittish as to possibly financial issues, balancing things out. One more. I don't need 20 cards. One more. Come on. I don't need... No. Come on. One card, please. Thanks. Three of Wands reversed. And they may be a little bit impatient and don't want to wait on this. This may be very slow moving and they don't want to wait. They could have codependent feelings. Very strange. Okay. Why is Eight of Swords reversed here for the obstacle? The Fool and the Page of Swords pops out. Somebody may be ready to jump. Whereas the other person just wants to talk. Six of Cups. Okay. This could be a soul you, this could, I'd have to call a soulmate connection here. I mean, I have two wheels and two soulmate connection cards at least on this table. You guys have been playing this game for a while. Why is the six of cups here? Two of swords. Someone may have a difficult decision to make. So, either in regards to this soulmate connection or another one, someone may have a blindfold on to what's really going on, which could definitely be an obstacle. There'd be another reason why the secrets are coming out. Gosh, we're having one hell of a month, are we? Strength. Definite differences between you. Political differences, age differences, religious differences. But the strength is the embodiment of opposites tracked. So you make differences work for you in that aspect, don't you? Alright, what can be done? Why is the Knight of Wands here? Nine of Swords. Too many. Let's see if the Eight of Wands comes back out. Two of Wands. Knight of Swords. Seven of Pentacles all reversed. One card. If it's giving me card gibberish. Emperor and the Nine of Wands reversed. Okay, fine. I'll take two. It 
definitely put some thought into this. Somebody's got to take charge. Walls got to come down. Okay. Let's get some advice. Four of Swords reversed, Sun reversed. Don't let the restless energy control you because it's only going to keep you from that deep connection. Page of Cups reversed, Five of Swords. Don't let pieces that you left behind from a different connection keep you from taking this cup. That's how I'm seeing that. Ten of Swords, Page of Pentacles. Very nice. It's time to let old cycles end and new cycles begin. It's time to allow the sun to shine in your life again. But for the love of Pete, do it slowly. I know. I get it. We're all about get up and go right here, right now. Moment's over. On to the next. Get your foot away from the gas pedal. Hmm. Not this time. Okay? Ease into it. Ease into it. Hmm. Chariot and the Page of Wands. Forward movement at a comfortable pace. After you've eased into it. <sighs> that page of wands. I don't quite know how to say this. One more set. Seven of swords, six of swords. <clears throat> Making plans, are we? Go the distance. I don't quite know how to say this without a certain something getting involved. Um, I'm put on the spot here. Know everything there is to know before moving forward. Absolutely. And be honest, no secrets. Let there be no secrets between you. Because this connection needs to be as honest as possible before you move forward. Okay? And just watch the wands. Because those wands get you into trouble. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Sagittarius, this is what I have for you guys for the month of August. Have fun with it. Okay, I, I want you to embrace and enjoy this moment. If it's karmic, so be it. If it's meant to last, so be it. That's even more wonderful. But above all, just enjoy the game. Okay? Thanks for stopping by. I love you guys. Be safe. Be blessed. Miss you. Love you. Catch you in a couple weeks for your September reading. And I'll definitely... Be seeing you guys tomorrow for the weekend top and bottom and Sunday night or Monday morning for the work week top and bottom. Hopefully nothing weird or tragic and no family drama happens again this weekend. So be blessed. I'll talk to you guys soon.